Bring us up to date on what you've been doing lately. Uh, lately, I have been doing a lot of Farscape comic books, which is what I'm here promoting at the Boom Studios booth. Uh, we're doing. I'm collaborating with Rock Neil Bannon, who created the TV show, and we're do, we're continuing Farscape from where the Peacekeeper Wars miniseries left off. Uh, it's basically season five for all intents and purposes. In the same vein as the Buffy season eight comics or the uh, the Angel season five comics, it's the creator of the show directing the new direction for Farscape. Uh, we're starting by going back to Hyneria so Rigel can get his throne back, which is something that's ideally suited for comic books. Um, I've been working very closely with Rockney. It's very much a collaboration. He's not just plotting it and going away. We're, we're working together on it. We, we talk over everything, going over each script with a fine tooth comb every time. Uh, the art's by a new guy named Tommy Patterson who's done wonderful work. Uh, the design work he's done on Hyneria is beautiful. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a second miniseries called Strange Tractors, which uh, Will Slinney is doing the art for, an Irish artist. Uh, and we're also doing a Dargo miniseries that takes place back during the third season since he went he went and died in the Peacekeeper Wars, so we want to do something with him so he gets his own miniseries. Mm -hmm. so, what is the world of Pinaria like? Um, very wet. Uh, and, and full of strange, waddling creatures who look like Rigel. Mm -hmm. um, and lots of people flying around and things because they have short legs and can't walk past it. So. Does o does O'Bannon keep you honest? Does he uh, does he have to uh, bring down the hammer or? Uh... No, we actually actually he and I are really frighteningly on the same wavelength, to a degree that frighten should frighten him more than it frightens me. Um, but no, we work really well together. It's it's we're both we both pretty much are are, are simpatico with what makes a good Farscape story, um, and and we bounce ideas off each other, and, and uh, it's it really is a collaboration. He's not. I mean, he's serving as the executive producer, and he's obviously the final word. But there, there's been very little hammer dropping, and a lot of, "Oh yeah, that's cool." So, you know. is is that typical for you? I mean, do you do you find it easy to play in uh, in other people's sandboxes? Generally, especially if it's something I'm already a fan of in the first place. Um, you know, I mean, I, I was a Farscape fan before I wrote the first, the novel. I wrote, I wrote a Farscape novel in 2001 called House of Cards. Uh, and I, I lobby for that. I was like the donkey in Shrek. Pick me! Pick me! And, um, you know, I've been a Star Trek fan since birth. You know, I was a fan of Buffy before I started writing Buffy books. You know, it just, it's... So, yeah, I mean, that, that's that's part of what I'm supposed to be doing as a tie-in writer anyway. You know, I, you know, if I can't lock myself into the universe, then I'm probably not a good person to be writing the tie-in in the first place. I mean, that that's the whole point. You know? So I just, I just view that as doing my job. You know? Way things go in the industry, stranger things have happened. Family Guy went to cable, then went back to air. Do you think that doing uh, these uh, these Farscape books could lead to uh, to something uh, on TV or? Uh, I have yeah. no idea. I mean, they're they're going to be uh, web webisodes that SciFi.com is going to have. Uh, those haven't been scheduled yet. They're still in the development stage, but the comic book is tying into those. Uh, and they're still working on that. And if those are successful and the comic's successful, who the hell knows? I mean, I'm not holding my breath. Um, you know, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot would have to go right for this to happen. And my experience, you know, living in the world is that that many things don't usually go right. Having said that, it would be great if it did. Um, but, you know, I have no idea. So what's next? Uh, more for Escape, we're going to keep, this is an ongoing concern for Boom Studios and, and for the Jim Henson Company. The, the first issue sold out in five days. So, uh, we're pretty confident that this has legs. <laughs> so that'll be going on for a while. I've got a new Star Trek novel out uh, called The Singular Destiny, which is a follow-up to David Mack's Destiny trilogy that was published at the end of uh, 2008. And um, I've got a Star Trek comic book coming out in April from IDW, uh, an alien spotlight on the Klingons. And uh, the story on that is the saying, 4,000 throats may be cut in a single night by a running man. I have the character of Kang, Michael Ansara's character, telling three different stories at three different points in his life where the moral, for lack of a better word, is 4,000 throats may be cut in a single night by a running man. So that'll be out in April. J.K. Woodward did the artwork for that. Um, I've got, I'm doing a couple of StarCraft projects also, tying into the, the Blizzard video game. Uh, a novel called Spectres, which is a sequel to my 2006 novel Nova, and a manga series for Tokyo Pop called uh, Ghost Academy, which will be at least three volumes and we'll hope it'll go beyond that, uh, detailing how the ghosts are trained. So, um, 
that's that's immediate future. And I'm, I've, I've got a few other things in the hopper that I can't talk about just yet. Um, I'm hoping to be doing more Star Trek. I'm hoping to be doing more Supernatural novels. Uh, none of that's definite yet, though. It's, it's pending. Various people, various people who are not me signing contracts with various other people. <laughs> <laughs> So, we'll see what happens. And then after lunch? <laughs> one, more, one more question I, I, while, while we're on the subject of Farscape. Yes. You, shipper or not? Uh, no, I, I don't have the shipper gene. Having said that, I think I like Craig and Aaron as a couple, and it's really fun writing them as a married couple with a kid. Uh, I, I think a lot of people like say, oh, well, the marriage ends the story or a kid ruins it, and I say phooey on that. I'm looking forward to writing stories about a married couple dealing with parenthood in the crazy world of Farscape. I think there are tons of possibilities for that, and 